So these are the best places to travel solo when you're a woman. Well, these are a few of my places. Burma, absolutely amazing, known as Myanmar. That's the new name. Very safe, wonderful people. And Thailand, where you can live in a temple and you won't be speaking much English, but you can help them with their English. And traveling solo puts you, if you're open, into amazing situations. I lived in this temple for two months and took pictures and did movies and got to do these amazing things like go around with them while they collected food every morning, which was something I had never done. And it changed my life. And in India, another place you should go, I got to photograph the Dalai Lama in the Himalayas and Dharmasala, another wonderful place to go, highly recommend it. And back to Burma, where people are so friendly, everyone will talk with you. And being solo is actually a plus, because there's no one else to talk to but the people that you've come to visit in the new country that you are in, so you do it. And this, this is, is in that took me to Bagan. Bagan. The wonderful. Well, tell me your name again. The, your name. My name Guta. Guta. He took me at 5:30 in the morning. He picked me up with the horse in the buggy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and took me to the holy temples in Bagan. So we had a good time, and I went to the top and waited until everybody left. Oh my God! Tripods clicking cameras it's all over now and it's beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous so it was worth getting up at 4 30 only woke up about five times yeah five i times. was excited yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so the thing is you're interacting with people more when you're traveling by yourself and myanmar is one of my top favorite countries i call it burma and colombia Brazil, which I don't have showing here, Sunset and Bagan. And we also try strange foods, like after two years having a Big Mac. No, that was a sausage McMuffin. So that was unusual. <laughs> but for real food, I would say one of my favorite foods is momos in Nepal, made by this wonderful Tibetan friend um, momos. in Kathmandu, momos where I stayed for a month at this Mondo. guest house. I got to use the kitchen, Mondo. and she was making momos one day and was laughing at me because <laughs> I was so interested. But see, here's the thing. Again... When you're a woman traveling alone, you're not, you don't intimidate people. They welcome you into the kitchen and show you how to make cool things, and it's fun. And then back to Dharmasala, India, where they have every Wednesday a Kora ceremony right near the Dalai Lama's house, and I had been missing it, but it was 7 a.m. in the morning, folks. Highly recommend going to the Himalayas, especially alone as a woman. It's not anything like being in the big cities of India, so it's fun. And back to Burma, I was in uh, Payin Ulwin in the mountains above Mandalay, and she was putting on makeup in Myanmar. 8 o'clock in the morning. So much fun. Another engaging interaction with... The culture it's makeup so they do it to be pretty and it was really fun I enjoyed it she showed me how to do it it's been an amazing morning here on the big island I got to swim with wild and free dolphins it's been a dream of mine for my whole life so the thing is, you want to be completely open when you travel. If it feels safe and it's something you want to do, just dive right in. I didn't know when I was going to go to the Big Island that I would get this close to wild dolphins. And here it's happening. So I moved over there. So you never know what direction will that you'll go in if you're open and ready to follow your heart.
We are in the top of Mauna Kea and <laughs> I was told by my son that I should keep driving to the summit, but we don't have a four-wheel drive. And we started slipping backwards. He says it was because I didn't accelerate, but I was scared. But I think this is a pretty darn good view right here. Look at that. Above the clouds. Amazing. The sun is setting here on Mauna Kea and we have had a picnic. I'm quite amazed by the spectacularness of this. And there's a stargazing program. Stay tuned. So we've got some of my favorite places to visit. Hawaii, Kauai, India, Nepal, and Burma. So check it out. These are wonderful places to go. And Hawaii has changed my life. This is my new home base right here. So subscribe and comment below. See you in the next video.